so initially it's, it's just getting them used to just giving them a piece of paper with paint on them so they can investigate that investigate it taste it if they want to smell it sniff it work with it they can do anything they want mm -hmm. um, from there we can sort of um, show them the motion of painting how we sort of do it as a human and they tend to copy especially Akini tends to copy what we do um, and then we can sort of start rewarding him for those behaviours so we pick up him doing this touching the paint good give him a reward and then gradually we can just turn that into a really fun activity um, where he actually looks forward to doing it. We've started in introducing clay so we're hoping that they'll be able to play with clay I don't know what we'll get out of it but we'll see. Um, anything new is quite enriching for them so changing their environment hiding food uh, we like to give them boxes with uh, surprises inside that they have to tear apart yeah. um, giving them some sim simple things like lick lids with jam and they've got to lick through the wire and try to mani manipulate it. He's got the freedom to walk away. If he didn't want to do anything, we can't make them do anything that they don't want to do. So him being there and being involved, um, first of all, lets us know that he, he wants to do it. Um, and they communicate a lot through body language and through vocalisation. So a lot of pleasure grumbling um, during the whole pra painting process, through the training process. So it gives us a buzz as well. And so at the moment we choose the colours. So we'd love to be able to give them a palette where they can choose their own colours and we'd, that'd teach us what colour that they like the best, whether they like a red or they prefer the greens. Um, and from there, we might be able to let them paint their own enclosure, um, finger paint, either give them a paintbrush. Um, so all sorts of things, ask them to paint all different variety of things. Yeah.